Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name is Shelly and my husband Chris and I and our four sweet kiddos normally live in Dolly, China and are currently displaced and living in America waiting out quarantine. And we thought while we were here that we would kind of review and look back over our six years that we've lived in China and come up with some of our favorites. And this week happens to be a really fun one that we put together. I really enjoyed putting it together. I also ended up very hungry. I looked back at all of our favorite Chinese foods street foods, favorite foods from restaurants, favorite local foods, food with friends, and we wanted to put them together and let you see it. Okay, I'm here with Camden, our firstborn, and I, Camden, this week we're making a video about our favorite foods that we love and miss from China, and I thought I would ask you what your favorite was. Um, I really like the breakfast Shandong Jinping. Oh, the one that is, oh, actually we're talking about it on here. Oh, yeah. you are? Yeah. Okay, I also like the, like, well, what's it called, a hash brown. Oh, the potatoes that are yeah. fried up? Yeah. First, let's take a look at our favorite foods from China. This first one that we have here is called the Shandong Bing. It's a certain area of China, and it's usually used as a breakfast food. And here you see that they make it. They're doing um, a small base that's a, they're doing a small base that's like a pancake. They eventually add an egg on top, and after cooking for a little while, They've kind of scrambled the egg and then they put on onions and pickled vegetables. Eventually they'll add a fried crispy part to it and it comes together in this great taste with a little crepe wrapped around it. It is unbelievable. We call it the breakfast burrito and this is not only my favorite, but the favorite to my kids. We love this. I would say on average, we eat this food in China two to four times a week. It is fantastic and the cost for this is somewhere from 75 cents to 85 cents depending on where you are so that's a pretty economical breakfast so if you're ever in china give this a try if you see it on the street it'll be well worth it I like the green beans. Those are, those are on here too. They're some of my favorites as well. Now our second type of favorite food, this is going to sound super crazy because it's just such a normal food, but our second favorite food is a type of green beans. They're from Sichuan and they're, it's just a fried green bean, but they use these special peppers and it's not like a spicy habanero type of pepper. It's like a, a spicy numbing pepper, the Sichuan pepper, if you're familiar with those and they fry it in with the green beans and they turn out just a little crispy on the outside with a little tiny crispy bit of meat and then all those peppers that are in there. Take a look at this meal and if you are ever in China, give it a try. It is well worth it. Probably not very good for you, but man, it's a meal topper for sure. It's so good. These green beans are absolutely unbeatable. If you are ever in China, give them a try. You won't be sorry. And if you are, other people at your table won't be sorry. They're so good. And there's something about them where all the flavors just come together and they are delicious. Give it a try. Now I know this next one sounds a little crazy and totally normal, but it's a certain type of soup. And at some places you'll see that you can go and they have a conveyor belt that passes by you. And as the conveyor belt is going, you can pick off what you want. Sometimes it's meat, sometimes it's a vegetable, sometimes it's just a topping that you might want to put in or something to flavor your soup, maybe a spice of some kind. You can do it where the conveyor belt comes in front of you and then you also have a pot in front of you of the broth that you can boil your items in and that becomes your soup. Or you can go to a place where you walk up to a refrigerator and then pick from whatever you see in the refrigerator, you can make your own type of soup. Now, I would equate this to, and this is not a great equal equation, but 
it is kind of making like your own chicken noodle soup because often there are noodles in it so you can flavor it however you want but it is very much a calming tasty taste of home it's very hearty with all that good broth in it and you just can't go wrong the soup doesn't miss so if you are ever in a place where you see that you can build your own soup give it a go here are some pictures and i seem to really like this a lot because i took several pictures so here's a few of the pictures of my meals over the years with this soup with noodles in it No one can talk about Chinese food without talking about street food, street vendors. And so I was showing in here some of our favorite places to go and some of the favorite foods that we eat on the street. And I would love to know if you've ever been to China, let us know below what your favorite street food is. And if you are from China, tell me about your street food that's close to you and how often you get to go out and eat it. Cause we really miss it. And we'd love to hear from you and hear how it's all going and hear about that yummy food. In this next one, I'd love to show you how some of the food that is made in China is so beautiful, particularly the desserts. They take great pride in their desserts and how beautiful they are, how they form all the fruits on top. Um, and you can see here that they just take such good care as they're creating it. And then also just their regular food, their vegetables are so, the colors are so vibrant and the, how it all comes together is just always so beautiful. So here are a couple pictures of the beautiful food from China. Well, thanks for sticking with us. I hope that you have enjoyed uh, checking out some Chinese food, authentic Chinese food, street food, all that good stuff, and a little peek into what our life has been like for the last couple of years. Thanks for coming along this journey. Stick with us as we get ready for next week. And also, if you wouldn't mind being a subscriber and following our family on our journeys and adventures, that would be awesome. Just scroll down a little bit and click that red button that says subscribe. We'll see you next week. Okay, all right. All right, say see ya. See ya.